Hello! In this video, I'm going to give you a really brief overview of the four stages of the editorial workflow in OJS 3.3. If you have used other versions of OJS, this will be familiar, but there are also some important changes that I want you to watch out for. We'll be covering each stage in more detail throughout the course, but I want to give you a quick sense of what things look like in this latest version of OJS. The first stage of the OJS 3.3 workflow is submission. This is where new submissions are made by authors and where editors determine whether to proceed to the next stage, review, or they might want to ask the author or other members of the editorial team a question using the discussion feature. Or, they might want to reject the submission without any review at all. The second stage is review. This is where the submission undergoes at least one round of peer review by one or more reviewers. Each reviewer can access a blind version of the submission, reviews the content, and makes a recommendation. The editor reads the reviews and makes a decision either to Accept as is, which is rare. Accept with revisions, typically once some minor changes have been made by the author. Have the submission go another round of review. This is typically when the concept is promising, but the submission still needs quite a bit of more work. Or to reject the submission outright. When the submission is finally accepted, it moves on to the third stage. Copy editing. In copy editing, a copy editor or other member of the editorial team works with the reviewed version of the submission, improving its accuracy, clarity, and fit for the journal. The author has a chance to review the changes before the submission moves on to the fourth and final stage, production. In production, the layout editor or other member of the editorial team takes the copy edited version of the submission and converts it into PDF, HTML, XML, EPUB, or some other online format. This copy is then sent to the author and another member of the editorial team for proofreading. Any final changes are made by the layout editor and the submission is then sent for scheduling to an upcoming issue that is ready for publishing. And that's it. Those are the four stages of the editorial workflow in OJS 3.3. Who is involved at each stage and whether you have to use each of them is completely up to you. However, if you do follow the path that we'll lay out for you in this course, you can be assured that your journal is following the best practices established by hundreds of high quality journals around the world. This is it for module two. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.